If you want to build wealth and you find yourself constantly in this point where you don't have enough money to invest, trust me, I've been there too. And back in January of 2022, I got this idea of, wait a minute, instead of investing all this money in the first place, why not start a little bit smaller? And we're talking only $5 a day. And we'll do that every single day into the stock market. Could that be enough money to grow investments over time? After all, I, I find that $5, at least for me, is a lot easier than $10,000, $25,000, and all of these big figures that investment professionals tend to throw out. See, $5 a day is cutting out maybe an extra meal a week or stopping so many Starbucks runs or whatever you're spending and blowing your money on that you don't really need to be. That's the point of the $5 a day investment challenge. So in this video today, I'm gonna update you on my portfolio of what $5 a day looks like from January 2022 until the latest April 2024. If you're counting, that is 27 months of absolute consistency, but a little bit of a twist for those of you who watch these videos on the regular. First of all, thank you. I really appreciate that. But second of all, you know, there's a lot of things out here on YouTube. There's a lot of different investment advice, uh, even though it really shouldn't be investment advice, but there is. It's hype stocks, right? Like there's certain stocks that you probably have seen all over YouTube, especially if you search in all the wrong areas. And they talk about, you know, how this particular stock is poised to 10x or this one here, it's going to the moon. So I polled you guys and asked, what are the top hype stocks. And then I did some additional research to see what videos are out there that are getting the most views that are getting the most attention based on individual stocks that are going up. What we're going to do is we're going to compare my $5 a day investment challenge that I've already set up back in January of 2022 to doing the same thing, but going in on one of those particular individual stocks with $5 a day, which one ended up making more money over the long haul from January until now in April of 2024. Let's start, however, with an update on the portfolio. So we can see it right here. Now, I started using Robinhood back when I first started this. So I figured, you know, since I started with that, I'll keep it going. But I would say if I'd start this all over again, I would actually recommend Webull. It gives a little bit more options. They actually pay a higher interest rate for any uninvested cash that you'd had to pay extra for in order to achieve that benefit with Robinhood. So if you wanna check out Webull, they do offer a lot of great benefits when you get signed up, link in the description below. But uh, in any case, this is what I started with. So for this particular challenge, I'm gonna stick with this one. But Vanguard, VOO, this is an S&P 500 fund, currently going for 476.85 as of the recording of this video right now. So here's the key. When I set out for $5 a day, I've kind of, I, I was going in manually at first and investing $5 every day. And then I got smart and I said, well, I can do an auto invest, which means I tell the app, whether you use Robinhood or Webull, it doesn't matter, but you tell the app, hey, every day when the stock market opens or when the stock market ends or whatever, automatically invest $5 a day for me so I don't have to come in here every day and deal with this because you know me, I'm gonna forget. The next thing I did is I realized, wait a minute, the stock market isn't open every single day of the year. It says recurring investments, VOO daily buy, $7.27. Now you may quickly say, well, wait a minute, that's not $5 a day. You're sitting here blasting $7.27 in, but that's because stock market's not open every day. So it's a very simple calculation. Take $5 times 365 days or 366 if you're in a leap year, like we are here in 2024, and then divide that by how many open stock market days there are in the year that you start this challenge. All you gotta do is go to Google and Google it. That's all you gotta do. And then you divide that total number divided by how many stock trading days, and that'll give you how much you should set up on your recurring investment. And that's why it's $7.27. What's beautiful about this, I literally no longer have to worry about this. Every day this is open, it's investing. And that way I know, even though the stock market's not open on Saturday and Sunday, I'm theoretically getting my $5 a day invested for all 365 or 366 days a year. Last point before I show you the portfolio is right up here at the top, Vanguard S&P, like I said, 476.85. Now the S&P 500 is the top 500 companies weighted by market cap in America. The key point here though is, it's not an individual stock. You can go out and invest in an individual stock and I'm about to show you some very interesting information based on the hype stocks all throughout YouTube here. 
But this one, you're taking advantage of all 500 top companies. You're immediately diversifying by buying into this particular ETF. Now, you could do it one time a month, but there's a trick to that. Let me show you what I mean. If we go here to the three month chart, and let's say, for example, you decide to invest only one time per month, and we're not talking about $5 a day. So you invest right up here. Let's say it's like February 22nd, you see that? And look at the going price at that point, $466. So if you do it by the month and not by the day, it's around $155 a month. So that means that you put $155 straight up into this fund at $466. Then the next month rolls around and let's say you invest right around the same time. So in this case, it's right near the end of the month, giving that it's February 22nd. So here comes, let's say March 22nd. Now look what happens. It's now going for $479. So while the graph is going up, as you can see on this particular chart, the real trick with that is you got to realize that there, when, when you do it every single day, you take advantage of the highs and the lows. So right down here, when it's sitting at 469, you're buying. When it's down here, where it's sitting at 456 before it blasted up to $466 on February 23rd, you're buying. You're buying the highs and the lows consistently. This is like the ultimate dollar cost averaging. Let's get to the point because I know you're all like, yeah, 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 that's great. Where's the portfolio? Right here it is. All right. So now I've racked up over the last two years and, and four months, 10.744515 shares. That's amazing. I love the fact that just a simple investment can get you that many shares in such a short period of time. That means my market value is sitting at $5,123 at an average cost of $391 because 2022 was such a bad year in the stock market. As I was investing, I was taking advantage of all those lows, which really brought that average cost down. That means that my total return for this particular challenge so far is $921 or 21.93%. And that's the thing to focus on is the percentage. Now, some of you out there are gonna say, well, why would you invest in the S&P 500? You could do so much better with this or so much better with that. I get the comment all the time. I get it. But here's the thing. I want that calm, diversified approach by investing in the index. You know, sure, I could have went all in on Apple back in 1985 and have like 10, 20 million dollars. But at the end of the day, nobody truly knows what is going to happen in the stock market. You don't know if your, your stock that everybody's talking about that you think is great is going to go to the moon or not. It brings me to this beautiful website right here. And I've shared this before, but it's so important when it looks at the S&P 500. Now, uh, the top company in the time of 1993 was ExxonMobil. Do you see that? What is the top company now in 2024? Well, it kind of goes in between Microsoft and Apple. But have a look here. Where's Apple at? Where's Apple at? It's nowhere. And see, the problem is everybody goes after what's being talked about. They go after the exciting things. Let's go up here to 1998. Take a look at that. General Electric, the top talked about company. And I bet if it was 1998 and we were as vibrant as we are here on YouTube today, everybody would be talking about, well, GE is the top dog. Look at where GE is, right? You see this? Okay, now let me hop to 2024. Tell me where General Electric is. It isn't even on here. And in fact, go over to seekingalpha.com. Type in ticker symbol GE. Have a look at the stock chart. See, here's the problem. Everybody's like, oh yeah, yeah, come on. It's the next big thing. It's great. It's awesome. First of all, A, you didn't predict that Apple would have been as successful as it was. Let's be honest. And two, you would have gone in on the bigger companies that you know about. Everybody talks about Apple. They talk a lot about Nvidia right now. What happens 10, 20, or 30 years from now? That's the key of investing in the S&P 500 through an index fund like VOO or SPY. You take advantage of all of these things. You, you, your investment gets spread across all these different companies every time you invest. So let me show you the portfolio visualizer. This one is free and I'll include a link in the description below so you can go check it out yourself. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna simulate some of these, you know, YouTube hype stocks against the $5 a day S&P 500 that we have been doing. Remember, 21.93% up, but let's take a look here. So in January of 2022, as you've heard before, this is when we started the challenge. And now we're gonna go all the way to April of 2024 which is the recording of this video. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna invest $155 a month. That roughly gives you about $5 a day. So we're gonna contribute a fixed amount at $155, and this is where I get screwed, and it says monthly, quarterly, or annually. If they had a daily, that would be incredible. By the way, if you're, if you're like somehow magically watching this and you like own this website, dude, if you could do a daily, that would take this whole thing to a next level but I'll settle for monthly for now. So here we are at monthly, right? And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna 
put in VOO because that's the $5 a day challenge currently. And that's portfolio number one indicated by 100% of that portfolio was invested in VOO. The next thing we're gonna do is look at, let's see here, AMC. You know everybody keeps talking about AMC, and especially back in 2022, everybody seemed to be on this like big kick about, oh, it's gonna be the next big thing. I was also gonna do TTCF, Tattooed Chef. That was another big one that everybody was talking about. Tattooed Chef is the next big thing. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do that anymore. The thing went bankrupt. It's on the pink sheets. If you invested a lot of money into TCCF, go ahead and comment below so I can just empathize with you. And I hope it wasn't a lot of money. I hope it wasn't all your money. Oh my gosh, that is just heart-wrenching because, you know, ultimately, if you didn't get out on time, you literally lost all your money because this thing went boom, gone on the pink sheets. Not cool. So I guess we're stuck with uh, some some weed. We're going to talk about some weed and that's Tilray. Uh, apparently another hype stock according to you all in the comments. So, uh, you know, personally, I haven't seen the hype stock of Tilray, but if, uh, if you want, let me know where I can find that, where that's being hyped out. But let's see what happens here. Okay. So if you invested $5 a day into VOL or you were an AMC person, you're like, I'm all in on AMC. That's the next big thing. It's going to short squeeze again. Oh my gosh, 10 X or you're into the weed and you do $5 a day into Tilray, analyze the portfolios, have a look what happened in the last three years. It's pretty obvious what the clear winner is. VOO going to that $5,700 as you just saw in my portfolio, but have a look at AMC you literally lose money. You're down to a thousand bucks. All that money you put in, all those five dollars a day that you put in, gone. Poof. Bye. Only giving you a thousand dollars if you sell right now today. And then, of course, if you invested in the weed, you're doing a little bit better than AMC at four thousand one hundred and seventy-seven. But to be honest with you, that is still terrible. Have a look. I mean, we're looking at negative thirty-seven percent. You know, it's just come on. What, what's the point of that? The only one that was hyped up that I, I see is actually doing better is Palantir. And that's ticker symbol PLTR, Palantir Technologies on Portfolio 2. And then what we're going to do is also look at GameStop, which is another big hype on Portfolio 3. So Palantir is actually going to beat VOO. Let's take a look at it and see what's going on here. So as you can see, if you would have done $5 a day into Palantir, you would actually grow to a remarkable $9,000. That's freaking phenomenal. So hats off if you if you decided to do that. But then also uh, GameStop is another sad story like AMC. Stop stop doing that, guys. Get 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 a little bit better with the money. Now, here's the thing to think about though. Will Palantir be a good thing? Like if you sold out now, you're looking pretty good and you're like, "Yo, I did it. I'm awesome." Congrats. You're absolutely right. Will Palantir continue its upward trend? Will it be like a Tesla and be like mooning and make the S&P 500 VOO all of us, even though we're all kind of making money in the deal? Yeah, you're going to make a lot more if you're going into Palantir. But here's the thing. Will that become the next General Electric? Will that become the next Exxon Mobil? Let's go back here to 1990. Will that become the next IBM? You know, like that's, that's something to think about. Ugh, I, we don't know. That's what the risk is when you go into single stocks. You're literally putting all your eggs into one basket. You know, this was kind of fun. Are there any other hype stocks out there that I'm missing that you think I should do an analysis on? That you think, hey, do you think this one actually will be a moon or am I wasting my time and I should really look into index funds? Drop them down below and we'll do a, a true analysis on them. I'll dig in and see, hey, is this one actually doing well from a revenue perspective, from a growth perspective or not? I will tell you though, Palantir is looking good, not financial advice to buy, hold, or sell. I'm an index fund investor. I'm always gonna buy all the companies and not just one single one. By the way, if you want a little bit more on why I stopped investing in individual stocks, you gotta check out this video next, and we'll see you on the next video.